plugged in, and I'm switching on the ignition. Immediately the machine comes up with the start screen. I press exit, and it's offering diagnostic codes. I press enter. It's offering, it's offering read the codes, erase the codes, or freeze frame. I read the codes, and it's come up with throttle pedal position sensor. So there's a problem with the sensor or with its, its wiring. I exit from that and I can look at freeze frame data, view freeze data. Very, very useful. This tells you what was happening at the time that code was first set. Let's have a look at it. So for example near the bottom we've got the load, we've got the coolant temperature, engine speed 2240, vehicle speed zero, so that could be handy. So we're going to exit from that, and now we're going to erase the codes. Now the, the light is on, so we're going to focus on the light on the dash, and I'm going to simply press erase codes, and it's erased them, and the light has gone out. It will do once the engine started. So the light is now gone. But there's more that you can do with this machine. You can look at live readings, for example. So let's go back to the menu and let's look at data stream. Now they can be very, very handy. For example, um, you may have failed the MOT due to a uh, rich mixture, um, and yet there are no codes. It could be because the cool temperature sensor is telling the ECU that the temperature is 20 when it's really 80. So we have a look at something like that. We have a look at. We can either go for entire data list. Entire data list gives you digital readings, readings in figures, in other words, and words, and so on. Let's flick through to get to something interesting. It's cool and temperature 81. Is it believable? Well, the uh, car's pretty hot, so it probably is believable. And so on and so forth. There's more of them. Um, ignition timing, 11.5, 13.5 degrees, vehicle speed, and so on. So that's your live readings, and you can look it up to five at a time. Very useful for gas converters that need to look at fuel trims. Or you can go to custom data list, and if you select custom data list, you look at one item at a time. You can then graph that item. So let's go down and see what we're going to do here. Find something interesting. Yeah. We go. Mass airflow. Let's try that one. Now, what the machine now does is it, it searches around to uh, figure out what the highest and lowest reading is going to be and adjust the scale accordingly. So when I rev up, of course, it's going to find a much higher reading. It'll, it'll lose the trace momentarily. Or another one that's, that's very handy is um, perhaps um, your oxygen sensor. There's more than one on this car. It's a V6, so it's got one in each bank. Plus it's got one downstream as well. If we look at, for example, O2S, B1S1, that means oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. We select that and it should be flicking from 0.1 to 0.8 volts. Um, and uh, it'll just take a moment or two to get the scale sorted out. And then away it'll go. And there it goes now, it's just still searching for the scale. And you want to see it going up and down, and the faster it's going up and down, the better and so on. It's very, very handy. So we'll come out of that. Um, and we have think tool set up, for example, and code lookup. Um, if, the, if the vehicle, if the code you get is a P0 code, P for powertrain, P0 codes mean the same thing regardless of the make of car. P1 codes, like P1234, mean different things for different cars. So if it finds a P1 code, it will uh, ask you to um, look up a list of makes 
and tell it what make it is. So there it is. That's the CR5. It's a great tool, it's not expensive, it's incredibly fast and it does a lot for you. It's very well made, two years warranty, update.